Hey everyone, couldn't think of anything better to do this beautiful, beautiful, see the sky out there? Beautiful Sunday morning. My wife's at the gym where I should probably be, but I wanted to show you these three knives. So let's get to it. Okay, gonna make this a quick one because I just wanna show you this knife. This, uh, these two, the barrage and then a custom barrage, I did another video on, I'll put the link up above. I had one of these made for my wife. I carry a knife every day. Uh, everywhere I go, I carry a knife. When I get on a plane, it's really irritating uh, because you can't. And um, I just feel, you know, it's basically, you know, wallet keys, knife. This one I got from, home, uh, I almost said Home Depot, uh, Bass Pro. I lost my knife and I needed a new one. And I figured, you know, how about a, a bit of a, you know, brand snob knife, right? Benchmade. But I love it. I loved it so much that when I did some more research on it, because this was an impulse buy, I found out that you could have them custom made. So I had this uh, custom made. They uh, put my initials on it right here. Bubby G. And um, I love the knife. You can see I use it uh, all the time to open Amazon boxes. That's what all that is. Um, but Love the knife. The problem with it, it rusts. I've sent it back to Benchmade to have it cleaned up and rebuilt and they did it no problem. Uh, but as a boater, I am in the water every time I take the family out. I get in the water to set the anchor, to go up to the beach, to relax, and I've had to train myself to take this out of my pocket. Otherwise, it's gonna rust. And that causes two problems. And there's a third problem with this. It pulls my swim trunks down a little bit because it's, uh, it's heavy, um, but the first problem is you take the knife out of your pocket and you don't have it when you need it. Uh, the last time we were at the beach, I'm in the water. This other boat is drifting into my boat. I have nothing to cut the anchor line if I needed to. Um, if there was some problem, we have, uh, you know, uh, the dogs on the boat with a tether. And if something happened where I had to cut that tether, knife is in a box or up on the dash somewhere, not in my pocket where I need it. This is going to solve that problem. It's been two months with this knife. After researching a knife that would be rust proof, this is what I came up with, the Spyderco Salt 2. I'll tell you a little bit about this knife um, that you might seem, you know, might seem like a like a questionable thing, but for me, it's working out amazing. First thing is it's unbelievably lightweight. It almost feels cheap. It's about it's a little over 100 bucks, but it almost feels cheap. It's so tingy, thin, plasticky, but that causes it to be unbelievably lightweight. You don't even know it's in your swim trunks and it's there when you need it. The second thing is it really doesn't rust. This has been two months, probably five, six times in the water at least. I don't rinse it. I don't, I, I purposely haven't really taken care of it. It looks like the day I took it out of the box. There's no salt residue, there's no nothing. Um, I, went, I rinsed it once or twice with fresh water, but for the most part, I've done nothing and there's absolutely no rusting on it. This part is coated. I'm sure it's stainless steel under here. So if this scratches, jury's out on whether or not it's gonna rust. I doubt it. Uh, but normally it's that blade. You know, they put the carbon in the blade to get them to hold an edge. But the more carbon, the better the edge, the more likely it is to rust. This uses some other uh, metal, you know, formula. And so far, so good but they have created a knife that doesn't rust. I did the serrated edge. If you're a mariner, you really should have a serrated edge. It's gonna make it through whatever it is that you're cutting. Uh, if it doesn't, if it's a little dull and you don't take care of it, that serrated sawing motion will get through the line or the webbing or whatever it is you need to cut through faster than a uh, straight edge. So my recommendation is if you're gonna carry a knife for the purpose of uh, safety on the water, get a serrated edge. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I am a huge fan. Like I said, I, I think I said, it's a little over a hundred bucks, so it's not a cheap knife, but it served every purpose that, I've, that I wanted. It is a 100% met so far for super lightweight, corrosion resistant, simple. I think it looks pretty good. I kind of like the green color. Oh, if you drop it, which I have, it's very easy to see on the seafloor um, at the beach. It actually went under the sand a little bit and I was still able to reach in there and, and get it. Um, I was showing somebody and I dropped it.
Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.